G'day viewers, how the devil are you? Welcome to another edition of the Oil Burner Channel. Today I've got the Piler Brick Furnace cranked up and it was a uh, pretty interesting run this one. A lot of things happened that I didn't expect at all. Unfortunately I did forget to turn the microphone on the camera like a pelican so you're going to have to put up with me narrating at least the first half but I'll try and explain what went on. Basically I was trying to um, melt some aluminium and I'd cut up a fire extinguisher bottle which you can see here. Just taken the top off it, put some aluminium in it and I was going to use that as a crucible. The pot of aluminium in the background I did in the vertical burner run and I was uh, going to sit that on the top uh, at an angle and just dribble that into the extinguisher bottle. That was the plan anyway. The big bit of steel there is a uh, half inch plate. That's actually the door from my homemade um, wood fired pizza oven. I measured it and it fitted quite nicely over the top of the, the furnace and a lot of people had told me that I'd get a lot of extra heat keeping uh, the top sealed a bit like that, restricting it and with enough gaps in the bricks that develop I figured that it should be okay and I can always open it up. As it was I could sit the thing on the top and just let the furnace itself breathe through the gaps in the brick. To fire it up these days I'm just using a little blower and I stick that on the inlet of the big blower and blow right through it like it is here till I get the thing hot. Once it does get a bit hot and the burn is running I can fire up the big blower as you see here and this is probably about 60 seconds after doing that. These bricks heat up really quick. I imagine proper insulated fire bricks would be even better but I'm using what I've got at the moment and this is about two minutes into it and already we've got a good red glow going there. As you can see this is pretty much just idling here. It's minimal fuel just to keep it going. It's getting hot there and I just thought that uh, I'd give it a bit of a crank just to uh, get the thing happening and um, get some real heat into it. I put another pile of bricks on, another row of bricks on the top just to give it a bit more depth for that extinguisher bottle I was using as a crucible. As you can see the burner just way overpowers the size of this furnace that I've made and it would easily do something much bigger. I, I don't even know what I'm running here, I'd say probably 100, 120 kilowatts or something, nothing like what the burner is capable of. You could see that in the opening shot how it just, you know, flames just went everywhere with that. I've got the extinguisher bottle there that uh, I want to use as a crucible just to dry it off and burn a bit of the paint and what have you off it and the same thing with that bit of aluminium sitting on the side. You can see how it affects it just one run cranking it up just for that long just just gets everything happening. So using the special patent pending uh, furnace tool consisting of a uh, old tent peg and welded to a bit of rod I've dropped in the the uh, extinguisher crucible with a bit of aluminium in it and uh, just trying to center it up there. I went back to the camera that was on the tripod, came over, did this shot and already that was how it looked. The whole thing was just glowing red and the aluminium was already starting to, to melt. It was pretty surprising. This is about the, uh, the one minute mark and it was well on its way then. These shots are pretty brief because it's hard to stand over this thing when it's actually running. The bricks opened up a bit. Uh, I did manage to get the top on it, but after about, I'd say, two, maybe three minutes with the top on it like that, and the burner still just pretty much idling, as you can see, there's no flames coming out of there, I, uh, I struck disaster, much, uh, much to my surprise. So you can see from here, uh, what happened, it was uh, rather unexpected for sure. Here you go viewers, this is what you call a major fail. Don't know what happened, but all my aluminiums escaped clean out the bottom of the, the burner. I've got stainless steel in there as well as the crucible itself and it's obviously gone right through somewhat of a catastrophe there.
Okay, obviously I've shut the burner down. Looking at that, I think I've gone right through the fire extinguisher. I've probably melted steel again when I didn't want to. I'll try and get that out and um, show you what it looks like. But it's just all the aluminium has just run clean out the bottom of the of the furnace. So something's got awful hot there. nothing in that and as you can see I've totally killed the bottom of that steel drum that steel fire extinguisher bottle look at that it's just wow back to the drawing board on that that's my second steel melt and not particularly one I wanted I don't think it's, um, that's that's cactus first time out Here's a look into the burner itself, the furnace I should say. You should be able to see that I've melted right through the stainless steel plate that I had at the bottom. Admittedly it was only fairly thin, but also appear to have gone through the fire brick and melted that as well. In that corner is um, pretty amazing and it's just completely burned away. I guess I'm, um, I'm going to have to have a bit of a, a rethink about this. Uh, the problem's not getting hot enough to melt anything, it's getting too hot and melting everything. Well, I'm going to have to get myself a lot better crucibles. As you can see, these fire extinguisher bottles are just not up to it. That's that's toast, and as you saw, it was just one run. It, um, it's just demolished. I'm a bit disappointed, really. I thought that they were uh, a lot better than that, but as you can see, the steel is just baking and flaked, and I'm really surprised because this was actually hard steel to cut. I didn't have my plasma cutter, so I had to do it with the grinder, and it was um, it was pretty difficult actually just to take that top off. But I'm going to have to find something a um, a lot thicker and um, give that a go because clearly this is just not up to it. It's melted like it was a, a tin can I've seen on other videos. So back to the drawing board on that one. And this is what happens when you have a uh, an escape from your furnace. I uh, I was going to fill that um, that crucible up, but I'm pretty happy that I didn't now. Um, I wondered what was going on when I heard the cement starting to crackle and pop underneath it and then there was a mad scramble to pick up power cords and everything else before the aluminium got to them. Luckily it cooled pretty quick and I didn't have that much but I'm probably going to have to wait a day now for everything to cool down and clean this up and have a think about what I'm going to put on the bottom of this thing next time to stop the same thing happening.